Hi, my name is Andrew Tamburino. I work at Injured Gadgets as an account manager. I take care of the everyday you know, uses and needs of customers. I actually was using Injured Gadgets as a uh, as a wholesale, you know, company when I had my shops. So I would, you know, I'd come by, I'd pick up some parts, kind of go through the, the aspect of things. Um, I actually knew Jarrell, who would work in the front. He was a really good friend of mine. You know, after coming in and just working, you know, loving the place and loving the environment, I said, hey, you know, let me, let me try, see what it's like, see what the whole thing was. I interviewed with Scott and David and they said, hey, look, you know, we think you'd be a good fit. Come on board, see what you can bring to the table. And I guess having that cell phone repair shop experience um, helps with kind of understanding the customer a little bit more. Honestly, I've always been in, in the whole sales aspect of things. I think being, being in sales is, it can, you can, you can put it into two different categories, right? There's that, you know, that old school salesman where you're just being a sales rep and that's what you do all day. And then there's that customer support kind of sales rep where you're more taking care of your clients. You're there to help them. And, and yes, you're selling, but it's more to, you're selling to help them make money. Um, when I found out Injured Gadgets was that mentality of sales, I said, this is awesome. I mean, this is, this is the way I want to go. Of course, obviously, you know, you have to reach out, but the fact that I can help other shop owners make money and in the process, I do my job. I think that's awesome. So I had actually known about Andrew for a little while before because he used to be a customer of ours and he still is a customer as well. Um, he owns two shops here in the Atlanta area. So I had seen his orders in the system before. I'm sure I'd talked to him once or twice before then as well. Um, but you know, he's, I'd, I'd known that he knows a lot about the cell phone repair industry. He's been involved with it for years. He's a, a real tech geek, um, super smart. So I had, I had a lot of, I guess you could almost say high expectations going into hiring him because I knew where he had skills already. Um, and he met those expectations for sure. He, you know, over the past couple months with him being with Injury Gadgets, he not only met them, he's exceeded them. He's continued to push himself as a salesperson and you know, he's, he's just really shown his talents with the company. Um, so I guess first imp real first impressions were, you know, he's a nice guy. He knows a lot about tech. He knows a lot about phone repair. He doesn't have to get trained so much in all the different parts we carry, all the different small parts and flex cables and different varieties of iPhone screen qualities there. There was already a solid foundation for him in this industry as we hired him. So my expectations were that he was gonna learn quickly and he did. I have a lot of respect for people that understand um, the business um, in this, this repair industry, and he's very unique. Um, I loved his energy um, that he brought. Um, he's very connected, he's a people person. And um, so connecting with him was very easy. And uh, you know, he was down to earth and um, he's just hungry and motivated and wants to grow. And, uh, and so that, that connected me to him uh, very well to where um, you know, we worked together. Uh, we created a Thursday war room where we, we, we do work together. And uh, so his first, his first thought, my first thought was, um, this guy gets it. Hobbies are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty fun. I, I have, I have three dogs. Um, my three dogs are, are, are great. One's a corgi, one's a husky, and then one's a jindo, which is like a Korean dog. Um, a lot of the hobbying is going out with them and hanging out with them, and my, my fiance, and, and going on walks, and let, you know, playing with them in the backyard. Um, then the nerdy side is, you know, games. You know, I do play a lot of online games. I have a custom computer that I play, you know, those video games on. I think that's, you know, super fun. And then obviously coding is also that other hobby where it's like, I just love to create things and see what I can, you know, find and maybe struggle to create. And then I figured it out. So in the next couple of years, um, hopefully here, um, you know, definitely work my way up and, and, and see see what the world can bring. Um, I'm also at Full Sail University right now, taking computer science courses and computer web development. Um, so hopefully that eventually plays into the aspect of things, you know, in the next two years when I graduate. 
and um, we're just gonna keep going from there. And, and you know, as Ender Gadget grows, I'm sure they're gonna need more people and they're gonna need more people either on the development side or even in the sales side and having both as an experience when most of our business is online, I think will definitely help. Andrew, bro, get your sock game up. That's all. Get your sock game up.